Hello everyone and welcome back to Make It Happen Mondays where I give you practical advice on how to actually make your content happen. So today we're going to talk about how to quickly and easily convert your footage from RAW or log into Rec. 709 super fast with no conversion LUTs. Yes, that's right. You heard me right. There's no conversion LUTs involved in this process. And if you want a step-by-step -step guide that you can follow along with in writing, you can download a free PDF guide using the link in the description. All right, so here we are inside DaVinci Resolve and I've already added my raw log footage into the timeline. From here, I just want to go to the color tab. So I click on that. And as we can see, this has been shot in S-Log3, which is why it looks so flat. From here, we just want to go up to the nodes panel and I want to add a new node. And the quickest and easiest way to do this is just to go option S and then we'll add a new node into your node timeline or you can right click and then go add node, add serial and then we'll add a new node as well. Now I would recommend adding one to three extra nodes in this process because then you've got a couple of nodes that you can use for color correction and adjusting your levels. And then we're gonna put this conversion node on the very end. So let's use this node here for our conversion and all you have to do is go to your effects library and then get the color space transform effect. Drag and drop that onto the final node and nothing happens. And that's what's supposed to happen. It's okay, because we haven't adjusted the settings yet. But what you did notice is that this will bring up the settings for that color space transform effect. And there's just four settings we have to change. So up here at the very top, we've got the input color space. So I wanna set this to the color space that I was filming in. And there's a whole heap of different ones to choose from. So no matter what camera you're shooting on, there's more than likely an option in DaVinci using this color space transform effect. So for me, I shot in Sony s -Gam at 3.cine, so I just select that. And then straight away you can see this is added in some of that color, although it's still looking quite flat. So we wanna change the input gamma, and again, just select the one you shot in. So for me, I was shooting in Sony S-Log3. As long as you film the original footage with the correct exposure, it's gonna look pretty much how you want it to. The last two settings you wanna change is the output color space and the output gamma. And since we're wanting to convert this footage to Rec. 709 for export, let's just set both both of these to Rec. 709. So the first one and the second one, and you won't notice any difference in terms of the look in your preview window, but this just means that once you export it, it'll be in the correct format. And then from there, you can go back and use the first two nodes to add color correction and adjust your levels to your taste. Literally, when I discovered this, I completely stopped using any conversion LUTs in my color grading process. And now every time I color grade footage, this is what I use to convert to Rec. 709. But if you're new to DaVinci, resolve before you go and convert any footage make sure you watch this video here where i give you a full tutorial on how to color grade start to finish in davinci resolve 